Welcome to Cavaline Productions Plus, I'm Matthew. Uh, at this time of this video, you're watching them right now, I had about 730 or so views. And if you've viewed, if you've watched before, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for returning. If you're brand new to this channel, please take a moment to like and subscribe so you can uh, view more content that is on its way. So, like any brand new YouTuber person, me, I wake up in the morning and I take a look at uh, my YouTube studio to see how many views, if I've gotten any comments, has, has anyone hated on me, whatever. And I got a comment. I got a comment from uh, Baby Sun 2. Baby Sun 2. And uh, this person was commenting on a video I shot right here. Boom. Uh, on how to connect your X32 to your computer. If you don't know how, watch the video. But uh, their comment was this, worked like a charm. A FL Studio setup with the X32 would be great as well. I'm just saying, smiley face. Your smiley face doesn't scare me, baby son too. I know that was a challenge. So I accept your challenge, and I will show you how to connect your X32 to the FL Studio. So first thing I had to do, though, is figure out what the heck FL Studio is. FL, Fruity Loops. I haven't heard or seen that term since my uh, early 2000 years at Guitar Center, but I went and downloaded their free version. If you want Fruity Loops for free, uh, their trial is unlimited. So you get a uh, very standard version of Fruity Loops. I'm gonna say that a few more times. Fruity Loops, Fruity Loops, uh, and you can uh, play around with it. So let's head back to the computer. I'm using Windows today, and I'll show you, baby son too, how to connect your X32 to Fruity Loops Studio. Let's go. On the X32 side of it, I'm gonna hit routing. And then I'm gonna go over, oh, sorry there, on card. And I'm gonna make sure it says one through eight, then nine through 16, and, and moving down the line. My microphone was plugged into input 16, so I had to make sure it said nine through 16 there. And that's it, you're all good to go. All right, so we're here at my Windows machine and I'm going to connect my X32 right here to my Fruity Loops Studio 21. Now, before we do any of this stuff, we need to make sure the X32 is connected. And if you haven't done that, you're gonna to need to take a look at this uh, video right uh, here, all right? It'll show you how to get it connected. Uh, if you're using Windows, you're gonna to need to download the driver, head over to Behringer. I'll actually put, uh, uh, that address in the description below. So we're gonna pretend we have connected this all up and we're good to go. So I'm gonna open up Fruity Loops Studio, Fruity Loops Studio, and I'm gonna go up here to, uh, to options, okay? Click on options, and then audio settings. And then we see input output. You'll see my, my Yamaha Steinberg here, but I'm gonna change it to, uh, this is outputs, we want inputs, to my X USB ASIO driver. All right, all good there. Close this out. Then I'm gonna pick a track and I'm gonna make it 16 because I know uh, for me, my microphone and my X32 is actually connected to input 16 here and I just wanna make it super simple for everybody. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna check, uh, uh, hit track mode, apologize. And this is gonna be an audio track, all right? Because it's a microphone, the source is, is, uh, is audio. Track, audio, and I'm gonna do same thing, I'm gonna do insert 16 just to make things really simple. Okay, nothing's happened yet. Now this is where uh, I figured this out last night. You're gonna right click again and track mode, audio track. If you look though, we now have options for audio track. So I'm gonna select my audio input. If you're doing a stereo track, they're right here but I'm doing mono, and I know I got a mic uh, plugged into 16. Boom. 
You've selected an external input. Do you want to switch to external input only to avoid recording internal audio on this track? Yes, that sounds like a swell idea. Boom, yes. Uh, I can already see that it's working. So here's the mixer here. I'm gonna click on that. Um, and then click this channel. Notice it's purple. We have in 16 and my output I'm gonna select this as out one and two, because if you looked at my last video, you know I set this up on my aux uh, one and two as my input for my computer. So if I wanted to put my headphones on, I could actually hear that input on my device here. So output one and two. Grab my mic, this one was laying around. Hey, hey, one, two, one, two, and I'm seeing audio all the way. Perfect. Now I can record, etc. And if I wanted to do uh, all 16 inputs, maybe I'm recording drums, I could do one to one, two to two, three to three, etc. And I'm good to go. And that's it. So that now you know how to connect your X32 to your FL Fruity Loops Studio 21. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw today, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you can hear, see, experience more content from me. But uh, one thing about this video, it was a challenge. Uh, Baby Son 2 reached out to me. He issued a challenge, couldn't he do this? And I accepted the challenge. If you have a challenge or if you are having issues, you can't figure out how to get from A to Q, maybe I can help you. Leave a comment down below and I will do my best to shoot a video and solve your problem. Until next time, keep rocking.